Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new study out of the University of Leicester in the UK has shown a clear link with the speed that we walk and the speed that our telomeres, one of the hallmarks of aging, get shorter. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation and see what this new study out of the University of Leicester has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read out of the University of Leicester in the UK that found a clear link between walking pace and a genetic marker of biological aging. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. The Leicester based team of researchers confirmed a casual link between walking pace and leukocyte telomere length, LTL, an indicator of biological age. The researchers estimated a lifetime of brisk walking could lead to the equivalent of a 16 years younger biological age by midlife. Casual associations of self reported walking pace with telomere length was published in Communications Biology. Whilst at the National Institute for Health Research, Leicester Biomedical Research Centre, the researchers from the University of Leicester studied genetic data from 405,981 middle-aged UK biobank participants. They found a faster walk in pace, independent of the amount of physical activity, was associated with longer telomeres. For those that don't know, telomeres are the caps at the end of each chromosome. They hold repetitive sequences of non-coding DNA that protect the chromosome from damage. They perform much the same function as an aglet. An aglet is a small piece of plastic or metal at the end of a shoelace that stops it from unraveling. Each time a cell divides, these telomeres become shorter until they become so short that the cell can no longer divide. This is known as replicative senescence. For this reason, scientists consider LTL a strong marker for biological age, independent from when an individual was born. Although the relationship between telomere length and disease is not fully understood, the buildup of these senescent cells is believed to contribute to a range of symptoms we associate with aging, such as frailty, and age-related diseases. While the physical, mental, health and social benefits of walking are very well documented, this study is one of the first of its kind to compare genetic data with self-reported walking speeds, as well as actual measurements of movement intensity from activity tracking devices worn by the participants. Dr. Paddy Dempsey, a lecturer and research fellow at the University of Leicester and the lead author said, previous research on associations between walking pace, physical activity and telomere length have been limited by inconsistent findings and a lack of high quality data. This research uses genetic data to provide stronger evidence for a casual link between faster walking pace and longer telomere length. Data from wrist-worn wearable activity tracking devices used to measure habitual physical activity also supported a stronger role of habitual activity intensity, e.g. walking faster, in relation to telomere length. Dr. Dempsey went on to say, this suggests measures such as habitually slower walking speed are a simple way of identifying people at greater risk of chronic disease or unhealthy aging, and that activity intensity may play an important role in optimizing interventions. For example, in addition to increasing overall walking, those who are able could aim to increase the number of steps completed in a given time, e.g. by walking faster to the bus stop. However, this requires further investigation. Researchers from the University of Leicester have previously shown using UK biobank data that as little as 10 minutes of brisk walking a day is associated with a longer life expectancy and that brisk walkers have up to 20 years greater life expectancy compared to that of slow walkers. This new study 
demonstrates a casual link between brisk walking and telomere length and, more significantly, not the other way around. Tom Yates, senior author and professor of physical activity, sedentary behaviour and health at the University of Leicester said, whilst we have previously shown that walking pace is a very strong predictor of health status, we have not been able to confirm that adopting a brisk walking pace actually causes better health. In this study, we used information contained in people's genetic profile to show that a faster walking pace is indeed likely to lead to a younger biological age when measured using telomeres. One of the key strengths of this study is its large well phenotyped cohort with superior LTL data. In the study, the authors emphasized the importance of walking pace and recommended that brisk walking pace is an important determining factor of LTL, which supports the overall health condition of an individual. That said, this study also has some limitations, one being that this was a one-time estimation of LTL with no follow-ups. And additionally, the current study does not perform any longitudinal analysis, which is essential in determining the link between physical activity and LTL attrition. Another limitation of the study is its cohort, in that it only contained participants of the UK Biobank study who are considered, on the whole, to be healthier than the general population. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, as always, hopefully both. Um, when I walk alone or I walk with my son, I walk as quickly as I can. Uh, he has to keep up if he's with me. If I'm with my wife, I have to slow down to Filipino speed, which is pretty slow. Um, or if I do push the pace uh, and she's made to keep up with me, I certainly pay for that later on. Now, I'm sure she's going to watch this video and she's going to immediately understand the positive aspects and she's going to start speeding up the way she walks. We all live in hope. Uh, so let me know, do you walk quickly or are you a slow walker? Now, having seen this presentation, do you think that if you are a slow walker or fairly brisk, you would increase the pace at which you walk if you think it could extend your telomeres and possibly give you an extra 10 or 16 years of life? Let me know. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.